It's fucking cheat time, baby! Never realized how much I enjoyed warm liquid shooting up my ass. <laughs> <laughs> because I used to be black. And then I owed it for a truck and I turned into a piece of Polish Jew. <laughs> and my penis got smaller. <laughs> Anybody dabble with some cocaine before? <laughs> this is me for Richie. You can tell me. You can tell me. It's okay. It's okay for all the belts here. Anybody done up cocaine to the point where they shit their pants? I have. Not kidding. Learning all these new wedding terms. Will there be an RSVP on the invitation itself? Save the yeah. date. There's gonna be something they'll like they'll have response cards, then by the actual invitations will have response cards or there'll there'll be a QR code that'll take you to the site where you can do it. Uh, is it gonna be like a Muslim wedding? So we have to save the dates, like you no. know like nine eleven? No. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at you, man. I haven't seen you in forever. I miss you. Yeah. It's been a I while. Miss you too, man. Yeah. The last podcast we did, it got accidentally got deleted, so Oh. Fuck. <laughs> oh, we're here. I have. Uh, I'm. I'm now co-running another podcast with some buddies of mine. Uh, did you? I. Oh, I haven't sent it to. Oh my fucking god. Yeah, we're calling it. We have sensory issues podcast. You have sensory issues. Yes. Yes. Like and, autism. Like autism, <laughs> and uh, yeah, basically, yeah. Just they, they. My buddies came over the other night uh, after some comedy, and we just fucking. It was mayhem. It was ridiculous. Making really, f yeah. We have a we we have a new bit. We're just going with uh, funny jokes about Ron DeSantis as like Disney villains or Disney characters oh. in general. And He's then, like Jafar. He's and like then Jafar. <laughs> and uh, my buddy uh was like is there a, which disney movie do they wear masks and then he's like move on i said more like move on and then my buddy's like that's what they already call it in china <laughs> move on <laughs> move on <laughs> move on to santa's uh yeah we, we had we had to stop for like three minutes because we were like la laughing way too hard I'll, I'll send you the clip i'm probably yeah. not gonna post on on youtube well on the not on my main channel I'm I'm I kind of have a, a weak band going on right now, uh, and it's yeah, on my main channel, and it's what, getting. Bro? I reacted to a guy, some like weird like Indonesian or whatever the fuck, maybe Singapore. I really don't know what he was. He had a really nasty booger, and then he fucking like eats it, and I'm like, you're fucking disgusting, and I got banned for that. I got banned for calling someone disgusting. Tell him the fucking right. truth. Tell yeah. Him my Moe's order has been picked up. All right. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to do a mukbang to, today on, on the Southwest thing. egg rolls. Yeah. To... Oh, my God, dude. Dude. Okay. The best egg rolls, even though, like, egg rolls are, like, irrelevant when it comes to, like, you know, Chinese food or Mexican yeah. food or whatever. But I'll tell you the best egg rolls I've ever had in my life, brother. It's this ch Japanese place in my town called Sarku. Sarku. I'm... Is it a is it a chain? I don't know if it's a chain, but anyway, it's like a hibachi grill, really good, really fucking good actually. And their egg rolls, I kid you not. How would you describe their egg rolls? Like the like the texture of the egg rolls, babe. Incredible. Well, okay, and they're incredible, well, they're crispy, but but they're like super. I don't know. They're just okay. correct. They're moist but crispy. Okay. Yes, it's kind of like biting into a corn dog. But it's full of like you know chicken and veggies and are there eggs in egg rolls? No. What the fuck? Why? Why the? Is, is that why there is? Because I mean, I mean, you're you're Chinese. You should tell me, honey. No fucking I'm not that. <laughs> Give me the secret. Give me the secret. <laughs> the Krabby Peppy formula. The Krabby Peppy. 
Give me the Krabby Patty secret. Ravioli, ravioli, <laughs> give, give me the Foyoli. <laughs> so fuck, man. What the fuck's going on with you? I feel like I haven't like seen or talked to you in years. Again. Uh, life whipping my ass. Yeah. Yeah. Almost got the 10 count on me. The 10 count? Almost got the 10 count on me. Well, I see that crab right there. Are you, are you trying to tell me you have crabs, Mike? Yes. And precisely. Who'd you get it from? Uh, public restrooms. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. We talked about that in, on, on the other podcast the other, the other day. And I said, bro, like, how funny would it be if, like, a virgin got a STD from a flashlight like a like a like a used flashlight like his buddy oh, like from like his uh, buddy's roommate like his roommate or something like that in college i'm i'm writing that down i'm going to make that into like a funny like skit i'm a, i don't want anyone taking it i think it's i really think they funny. had that i think they had they i don't i don't think they got an std but they were sharing a flashlight on um blue mountain state oh i forgot about that show they were thad castle put them on uh flashlights Thad Castle. That's a it's a very Chad name. He is he is very Chad. He's the most Chad character on that show. I'll tell you what. So there's a new there's a new name for Chad's actually. It's um very similar, but there but Ch- but a Chad, a quintessential Chad is someone who's like tough, can get chicks easily, you know. Be, just be yourself, bro. Just be yourself. That, that's Chad. Yeah, the most sad thing you can do is be yourself. Exactly. So, <laughs> um, so my buddy thought of another name for like a uh a a white a white guy, Chets. Chets, I actually that's mm-hmm. like I I have that that archetype. I call it Chet Chetson. Chet Chetson. It's like uh, who, every who's... guy who's ever been on The Bachelor. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah. yeah, got done yachting and fucking uh, like, Kauai. Yeah, it, it, you dude, you, you fucking you nailed it. Yeah, so my, so my good buddy, shout <laughs> yeah, out. To I Nolan. played uh, D one baseball actually. You know, I'm baseball. A, now I'm a stock market. Now I'm in the stock. I, market. I work for my father. Okay, like here's an example of a Chet. Donald Trump is a Chet. Donald Trump Jr. is a Chet. Jo- Eric Trump's a Chet. Yeah, Tucker Tucker, yeah. Tucker, Car- Tucker Carlson's a Chet. Uh. Hell, even fucking Hunter Biden's a Chet. Easily. He's he's like Chet on crack. Though. He's yeah, he's he's, 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 he's Chet crack. with a crack addiction. He's, he's crack he's... Chet. Yeah, he's uh he's he's Chet talk. Ah, I just doxed my uh-huh. <laughs> just kidding. Uh-huh. I, 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 don't I don't fucking I don't do crack. I was offered crack. I, I told you about that, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And good old Hollywood. Yeah, made these guys fucking pee their pants laughing and they were like, hey man. You want to do some crack? Yeah, seriously. That yeah, they're yeah, they're they're like, yo, man, we like you a lot. You want to do some? I'm just like, wouldn't you offer someone crack that you hated? Because because I mean, crack can like kill you easily. It can ruin your life. Exactly. And I'm like, well, <laughs> no, but it's funny. I was like contemplating. I'm hey, like, bro, we like you. You want to ruin your life real quick? Exactly. No, yeah. I was like looking at the crack rock, and I'm just like, huh. I, I can smoke know. this crack rock right now. And because I don't know, I kind of wanted to be the guy that's just like, I was that guy. I smoke crack, you know. But I don't want to say no. Who the <laughs> but I, I but I was also like, well, what are the circumstances? Like, what if I smoke crack and what if I like I either get highly addicted to it or I'm like, OK, maybe I try this once scares the shit out of me. I'm never doing it ever again. Or if I die, yeah. I'm doing it. But it was funny. My but my my buddy was just like, you're not coming on the plane if you smoke that, you know that. Oh, I just almost caught that fucking fly. I'm like Walter White trying to fucking catch a fly for, for, for 45 fucking minutes. <laughs> In your meth lab, your underground and, meth and lab. my and my meth lab. If I ran a meth lab, I would be a very very good manager. Yeah, I would just be like, guys, just just wear your your jumpsuits, not jumpsuits, but uh, lab lab equipment. Yeah, um, happy, dude, cover your face. I'd be like a. I'd be like a chemistry teacher, like like a great chemistry teacher, or you know, just someone. Follow like, all the OSHA regulations when you're ex- in my meth lab. Exactly, I would, I would be, I would be a great, great meth lab manager, meth manager. You make but, you uh, should make a, you should make an Indeed profile, and make a make a resume. It's not a bad idea. Meth manager. It, it's funny. Like I remember, I was watching this thing. I'm like. 
fuck, I was in high school. They're like, if you can make cookies, you can make meth. And I'm like, really? Like, it's make- that simple. I didn't realize meth was that fucking easy. In fucking West Virginia, they do they do it out of fucking Gatorade bottles, the old uh, shake and bake method. Wow, yeah. it's like, it's like fucking modern day moonshining. Kind of, yeah. Yeah, you could ba- basically. Did I tell you my great grandfather was a moonshiner? No. When I when when I found that out, I was very very proud. My dad said he used to like run away from the fucking like Pinkertons, which were like the CIA back yeah. in like the nineteen tens, nineteen twenties, and he would hop on his fucking steamboat. It's fucking down down the Ohio River, just trying to find a new place to make fucking. I uh, almost said meth. Um, find a new place to make fucking. Uh, yeah, the uh, moonshine. I mean, he he had no like he, he was he was a Polish immigrant. He didn't speak English, so the only thing he knew best was I'm gonna make some fucking liquor and get all these motherfuckers fucked up during this whole prohibition era right here, man. Make money, yeah, yeah, exactly. I mean, were your was were your ancestors fucking? Uh, what you call it? Uh, moonshiners. Moonshiners, Mike. They were um, on my dad's side. My great grandfather was a sharecropper. Sharecropper. He grew up in Valdosta, Georgia, and then he moved down after World War II. He moved down to Hialeah. Share. They got a lot. They, they got a lot of cotton. Driver. They got a lot of cotton up in Valdosta. Yeah. I used to work in Valdosta. I will not technically work in Valdosta, but I I used to deliver uh goodies to like certain places in Valdosta and I would wake up every morning and it, it looked like snow but it's just cotton just un- yeah. pro- unprocessed cotton that needed to be picked. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I um, saw, I saw that when we were driving through Alabama yeah. it looks very lame and depressing by the way. If, if you Alabama, Alabama I don't plan on depressing. ever going to Alabama for a while. Probably never and yeah. I don't wanna uh so I'm good. Some it was some it was it was a relatively wasn't exactly small town. It was I'll say it was smaller than Ocala. I would say. Wait, the town in Alabama you went to? Yeah, well, no, we drove through it, but it was an advertisement for Mark Normand was up there. <laughs> I was like, oh, wow, he's uh, going, he's going here. Oh, I bet Mark Norman fucking was just like, ah, you fucking inbred fucks. <laughs> comedy. All right, who's <laughs> here with the girlfriends, aka their cousins? Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, I, I feel like anything north of o- of Ocala, like Georgia, Bama, it's Ocala. Like I feel like everything is just Ocala. Kind of, yeah. After Ocala, except for like Atlanta and stuff like that. I don't know. Jacksonville is a lot bigger than Atlanta, or Jackson. Jacksonville is a lot bigger than Ocala. Duval, yeah, it's yo yo. Jacksonville's pretty big. Yeah. Uh, I don't know, man. I mean. Because yeah, I was watching yeah this guy, this YouTuber, is going to like different parts of Alabama, just asking people if they're if if, if incest is real in their town. They're like, oh yeah, I made out with my cousin. I I got no regrets. And I'm like, you kissing of, cousin. Of course, I'm like, of course you don't have fucking regrets. Nasty asshole. <laughs> no regrets. No no regrets. No regrets at all, man. Dude, I'm so excited for this Mo's to come. It's gonna be great. I had, we had uh, we had wing stop earlier. Oh yeah. What kind of wings do you like, Mike? I can tell you're a spicy guy. You a spicy guy? I am a spicy guy. Yeah. Ever since my my vegan switch a couple of years ago. Yeah. I, know that, I feel like that kind of. Are you still undid. vegan or not really? No, not really. No. All right, good. It kind of undid my stomach problem, so I can eat spicy <laughs> stuff now. Are you going back to triple baconators at all? <laughs> no, no, I'm not going back to triple baconators. Yeah, dude, triple baconators. I am a I'm a spelt two twenty three right now. Dude, that's fucking awesome. I have no ambition to get back to three fifty. So triple baconators wow. are not in my timeline. <laughs> very good, man. That's fucking awesome. I I would I would love to get the two twenty very soon. I uh yeah, fasting sucks. Like I now that I work this job, I'm basically just sitting on my ass all day and just talking yeah. on the phone. And you know, um, I don't know. I I like I have better things to purchase than like gym memberships, which I should definitely get a gym membership for, for sure. Um, I don't know. Just there's a there's a gym I want to go to, but I know someone I know that goes there, and I fucking hate. 
<laughs> and oh, yeah. yeah, so I mean, I don't hate. He's just annoying. I'm not going to mention his name. He's not worth it. And <laughs> but yeah, I'm just chilling. I'm getting there kind of slowly but surely. But don't call me Shirley. Don't call me Shirley. Just jokes, more jokes. I like jokes. But Sarasota Street, you good though? Uh, yeah, that's good. And uh, the whole nursing thing is a pretty. Is it still? I got, I got employee of the month. Did you now? Month of May, yeah, dude, that's fucking rad. I get a whopping seventy five dollar bonus. Oh wow, seventy five dollar bonus. Which I would prefer wow. if they send it to me in cash because uh, are they put it? Pay- they're putting on your pay- pay- bonus. Yeah, yeah. fuck that. They're putting it on your paycheck. That's bullshit right yeah. there. No, I get yeah. the tax. I just referred a buddy of mine to the job and he got hired and yeah, he, I'm, I'm going to get like, I think like a $500 bonus. So I, w- I mean, I wish I can get that cashed out too, but I don't think I can. Yeah. And that's going to be going towards a new cinema camera right there that I'm going to be investing in. Shooting pornography with. Fucking more than pornography there, baby. I'm doing my OnlyFans. Oh, yes. Yeah. I that, that YouTube money ain't fucking working. I got to get, I got to get some more money. Um, I, i'll we'll tell you what bro they- yeah i'll tell you what bro i actually did a um a show a while ago uh <laughs> yeah it, i just you know i was trying i was trying out new jokes and and i had i came up with a new op- a new opening liner you know i like to come up with funny opening liners just to kind of draw the audience and so then i asked the audience i said all right be honest with me guys if i got an only fans account would you subscribe and this one girl said ew fuck no and i looked at her i'm like Cunt, <laughs> you bitch. <laughs> Hold on, Cassandra is approaching my door. Yeah, Miranda, Cassandra is approaching the door. You hear that, Mike? Yes. Cassandra's coming. Cassandra's coming. Yes. That sounds like a like a Zeppelin song. Cassandra's coming. It's about sex. So a... no, it's about. Coming out of the closet, Mike. It's Pride Month. Oh, Come on, you got you, you got you got to you got to know this shit, bro. I gotta get the times exactly. How fucking dare you? How's Pride Month been treating you so far? <laughs> oh, great! I ordered a leopard print shirt the other day. Did <laughs> you now? Kind of mention of it. Did you uh? Did you go to Target and get your fucking uh, your your satanic shirts? No, we're we're boycotting Target. Yeah, we're boycotting Target because of all the Pride shit. No, Mike, it's not boycotting. It's them cotting. <laughs> Them, yes. <laughs> how could I be so naive? Trans cotting. <laughs> how? Trans cotting. How? How? Or they them cotting. They them cotting. I love it. That's so fucking funny. Yeah, I yeah. So I saw the one where it said Satan respects my pronouns. Oh. <laughs> I'm like, does he now? Satan. I have a feeling he doesn't. I have a, I have a strong feeling he doesn't. Satan's just like. Well, we'll fuck you with the ass there, little boy. Do you think boy. Satan would have that kind of accent? Like, if Satan were real and, like... Well, like the devil did, did go down to Georgia. He did? No, but, like, yeah, like, do you think Satan would literally be like, I'm gonna take it home, boy? Or do you think, <laughs> do you think it'd be more kind of like... Do you think he would have, like, a Jewish accent? I feel like it would kind of be like it was on South Park. I, I mean, that would make sense, but... Because yeah. if you notice... In the Passion of the Christ, which is totally canon, it definitely happened. <laughs> really. Satan is always around the Jews who had Jesus killed. Yeah. yeah, it had no eyebrows and was actually a chick. Yeah, it was actually a woman that played him. Now it's funny. I was reading like a like like information on why Mel Mel Gibson casted her as a woman, and it's like because Satan is a personification of evil, and evil is attractive. I'm like, but that fucking actress was not attractive though. Like she looked Dude, like Voldemort. Man. Yeah, yeah she's, she's, she's literally she's literally just like my here my yeah. eyebrows, no eyebrows. Who are you? Who are you? And they're Aramaic. Uh, yeah, yeah. They spoke Aramaic. I can't believe he made him learn Aramaic. All for that. All for that. He did that in a couple of his movies. He did that in the fucking um. Was it him that did Last of the Mohicans, or was it Last of the Mohicans, or whatever? Last, he did another movie last, where Last of the Aramaic. Mohicans was that. That, I thought Mohicans was like was like Mayan or something like that, not not Aramaic. No, they, but he made him speak Aramaic because I don't think but anyone I'm just, spoke. But well, yeah. I'm just 
I'm just curious on where it's Aramaic's a dead language. Like where yeah. in the fuck did he find the time to have his actors learn Aramaic? That's what I'd like to know. Is he knows it? He knows it. Yeah, and then I, and I think the Roman uh, actors I think they I think they speak Latin in the film too, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah, another dead language. Yeah, I know. Well, I mean, it's still. I mean, people still speak it if you're like a scientist, but like Aramaic, like who the fuck? Yeah, or like, doctor. Doctors know it. Doctor, yeah. What kind? Of, what kind of doctors know Aramaic, Mike? Can you tell me? Not Aramaic, but Latin. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was just making a funny. It's like, what kind of doctors speak Aramaic? <laughs> oh, oh, well, if you if you would have said Arabic, then I'd say Arabic. Probably, no, but, Aramaic, yeah. and like, no, those doctors are, you know. Um, Are you making a sex doctor joke? I don't know. No, I'm making a Jewish joke. (laughs) Oh, oh, okay. (laughs) Because Aramaic's a Jewish language, technically, right? That is right. That is right. Yeah, yeah. (laughs) Dr. Mm -hmm. Aramaic here. He's like, oh, fush, mush. I don't fucking know. (laughs) Satan would probably sound like he does on South Park, I feel. I, I like don't know. Cool. I could see Satan have like a Yiddish accent too. He's like, "Oh, fuck your bird, burn, burn, burn. Yeah. fuck your pronouns, burn." I don't. Know. You're going to burn. Oh, what if he sounded like uh, like Jerry Seinfeld? He's like, "What's the deal with Christians?" What if Satan is Jerry Seinfeld? What if Je- what if Great. Jerry Satan Jerry Satan is Seinfeld? Jerry Satan. Oh my God. <laughs> what I mean. What if? So you killed 20 people. What's up with that? <laughs> oh, my God. It's like, so I killed the son of God. What is up with that? <laughs> no, Satan is actually Jason Alexander. Jason Alexander is actually Satan. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. No, I think uh, if if Satan were real, it'd be Michael Richards for sure. Jerry. Well, that's not. Well, no, because. uh Michael Richards is the second coming of Christ. Actually, he's. A... Is there a reason why he's the second coming of Christ, Mike? Did, did you know do... why, Scott? You did, know why? Did Scott. he do something? Did he do something to make it where he's take now you back the, to the second Laugh Factory, coming? circa two thousand six, yeah. <laughs> at the Laugh Factory in Los Angeles? Yes. <laughs> oh my God! But they. Um, uh, a wild heckler appeared out of nowhere. A wild heckler for sure. <laughs> he went on a tirade. Uh, dude, have you have you heard uh, Dave Landau's story with with Michael Richards? No. Oh my god! Yeah, yeah. If you, um, I'll I'll explain it. It's so funny. And look it up after you, after we get the, done with this. It basically, he, um, Dave was uh was was hosting a, a show. I can't. I don't remember where it was exactly where he mentioned it, but I think I. I think it was either maybe New York or LA, so somewhere one of those places. Um, it was like a, it was like a. There are some pretty big comics that that were that were going there, and then I, and then Michael Richards was was featuring, and he said he went into the green room where Michael Richards was doing fucking push ups and sit ups, and getting <laughs> pumped. He's ready to fight. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and then he goes up to him and he's just like. I said, "Hey, Mr. Richards," and and then Michael Richards was just like, "What do you want?" And then. What do you want? Get the fuck. Yeah, basically, and then he's like, "Hey, I'm I'm Dave. I'm hosting for it." He's like, "Okay," and and then he's just like, "Okay, well, how do you want me to bring you up?" And he, he said, "I think you know what to do. I uh, I don't know what to do. Don't bring me up as Kramer." And so then he's just like, "Okay, geez, yeah." And then he starts getting more. <laughs> geez. There, there's a couple of things that that he said I can't remember, but yeah, I'll. Uh, it gets weirder and weirder. Then basic. So basically, long story short, Michael Rich is about to go up, and then he brings him on as Kramer. <laughs> <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, Kramer, Cosmo no, Kramer. No, literally, he said, he said, you know, best is Kramer from Seinfeld. Here he is, Michael Richards, and then he said, like, he just gave him the most shit eating grin, like this, like when he was shaking his hand. I'm like, dude, I'm like, fuck it, yeah. And but he said he like bombed for like 17 minutes, really bad. It's because he fucking said Kramer. If he would have said something else, I think it would have been a good show. Mm-hmm. TV's Michael Richards, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> TV's Michael Richards. <laughs> didn't, they, didn't they try to make like a Michael Richards TV show? 
like the, they call the Michael had, Richards show. He had a TV show. I, it only lasted like half. I think it got canceled, but I don't. It, he it's maybe a, lasted a season. Did they? Uh, <laughs> did did they uh, title it as Richards, not not Seinfeld, but Michael? No, it was just, it was just the Michael Richards show, if I'm not mistaken. I never I never saw it. Never watched it. I I only knew about it a couple of years ago. I think it was Artie Lang was talking about him. Fucking Artie. Everybody, it was going on at the same time as the Norm show, if I'm not mistaken. Someone, uh, some asshole on on YouTube made a uh made a video saying Artie died, and I like I fucking almost lost it, but it was fake, and I'm like, wow, wow, you people have no fucking lives. You piece of shit, making up this fucking rumor. Artie's I mean, a I fucking. Be I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah. But... He's a fucking cockroach, though. So I mean, like, I'm I'm sure if we have like nuclear war, we're all gonna die, and Artie will still be doing a podcast somewhere. <laughs> right. That's fine. Him and his yeah. nose will be just fine. Yeah, man. I don't know what's going on. I mean, like, I I hope because he said like he's like I remember the last thing he said on uh, on Twitter like a while ago where he said stop taking a break from the from the podcast and everything. He said like this isn't goodbye. I just want to get healthier. And I'm like I respect that. Because I, I think he's like diabetic, yeah. along with like other health yeah. issues as well too. And I'm pretty yeah. sure he yeah. probably he, pro- he probably still lives with his fucking like elderly mom still probably. You know? Yeah. Well, when he was on the Stern show, he had like a multi million dollar fucking house on the Jersey Shore. Yeah, and then probably lost it. And he lost it because he fucking had that psychotic episode in 2009. Yeah, and then you know this drug drug addiction is. Nothing That'll to be wrong it. with man, you dude. Like being being a drug addict's expensive. I mean, that would be like yeah. like that would be like my like my uphill win as a if I was a drug addict. I'd be like, oh my god, I'm spending thousands of dollars on fucking dope. Maybe if I should maybe I should yeah. stop doing that and I'll fucking save a lot of money. And then I'll be more high off of money than I would be high off of drugs, Mike. I don't think it's like he had too many addictions, man. Like he had heroin, coke, and gambling on top of that. that gambling was for sure. <laughs> Norm was Norm. Bad. Yeah, yeah, I was about to say, yeah, Norm had a was a horrible yeah, it didn't Norm throw like fifty seven thousand dollars like off a bridge? Yeah. What is psychopath? But it's so fucking cool at the same time. That he just threw away money like that. I mean, it doesn't matter. I mean, I guess the uh, from what I remember, if I remember correctly, the logic was I'm going to lose a gambling anyway. So, yeah, I mean well, that could that, that, that could have saved his life. It could have helped him with fucking treatment. Norm would still be here. Yeah, telling jokes. I mean, that was I'm pretty sure that was like years ago when he threw the probably 50th, yeah. uh, at least a decade before he had. Uh, the cancer. I didn't even know he was sick. Do you know he actually had cancer like back in the eighties? Oh, I didn't yeah, know that. He, yeah. He like I it was there's like a little mini documentary I think called um the real norm or something like that, and yeah, he was uh, talking about yeah there there's like one yeah I think it was either he was on SNL or some troop probably probably before SNL. He came and he came to work late, and he literally was just like. Yeah, sorry, everybody. I just got them throwing up blood, and people were like, "Wait, Norm, that's not funny." And so they made him go to the hospital, and he had stomach cancer at that time. Oh, he was God. he was only like thirty one at that time, yeah. man. And uh, then, I guess he was like on and off with like cancer stuff, but you know, oh, boy, what are you gonna do? Now, how about that AIDS? Yeah, AIDS. <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear that? Have I told you that story that I heard that Artie Lang told? No. <laughs> It was when he was starting out, he would open for Norm or he would do shows. I don't know if he was opening at this point or not, but he um, they were in San Francisco. And he's like, listen, we got critics out there. Don't fuck this up for me. Don't say anything about <laughs> that. And then Norm's first line when he goes out is, so how about that AIDS? <laughs> That's fucking great. So how about that AIDS? <laughs> you know, I think I did hear that. And there was the one where he was he was having to babysit Chris Farley towards the end. Of Chris <laughs> yeah, Farley. I heard this one where he went he... to the bathroom with Andy Dick. <laughs> he's like, yeah, he's like, he's, told like him, he's like, he just went in the bathroom with Andy Dick. He's and there's like, two, there's two reasons you go to the bathroom with Andy Dick and none of them are good. And then Norm says, yeah. Holy fuck. I hope he's high. <laughs> I hope he's high. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I've heard that story multiple times. It's a good one. It's a fucking great one. I think the, I think my favorite one, was when Artie was talking about his uh his uncle 
the Italian one who was like who oh, watched yeah. nothing but Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Yeah. And he was, yeah, he, he said, like, he would, he went up to his uncle. He was just like, what do you, like, what's the show about? And he said, it's a Jew broad fights Draculas. <laughs> like, imagine that's just the premise for the show. Jew broad fights Draculas. Classic. That's the TV guide explanation. Oh, my God. TV guide. TV guide. I, dude, I fucking, I used to love, like, just watching the TV guide scroll, like, boop. Yeah, like, Oh the, man, I would love the, to watch that later, but I'll be watching this telling yeah. you what to watch. <laughs> yeah, and um I mean don't get me wrong, I when like when would fucking like TiVo and DVR came out, that was wonderful too. But I was yeah. also just like um oh, there's something magical about about that uh about the TV know, guide the, the TV guide and the music and stuff. I think the worst ever was like when we had to actually look in the fucking book. For the TV oh, guide. Oh God! I remember, I remember when my grandmother was alive, and we would uh fucking zoom, and fucking time. I don't know why it's, <sighs> you know, nothing's changed, nothing's fucking changed with this fucking thing. Anyway, so sorry, Grandma. Um, <laughs> yeah, I remember we looked for shows, and you know, me being a little kid, and my grandma being like a seventy-five year old woman back back then, you know, like her favorite shows were like. The news yeah. and I don't know Andy Griffith and Andy Griffith. Nah, I, I think he wrote. Um, and I don't know, fucking Golden Girls or something like that. And I, yeah. I remember we would like search. Oh, I, I see Golden Girls on the TV every day when I'm Golden Girl. <laughs> I bet, dude. You you probably you probably worked with the Golden Girls already. Yeah, pretty much. Like, have you had like a like an old woman say thank you she, for this being lady a friend. from Kentucky? She's from Kentucky, but she's like 95 years old. I was like, oh, you know, you remind me of Blanche. You remind me of Blanche off the Golden Girls. She's like, which one was that? Was that the hussy? <laughs> was the hussy. <laughs> yeah. He was the slut, ma'am. <laughs> Precisely. Not in that regard. But. No, I um I worked with a woman named Blanche. And not not with, but when I was at the retirement home, I think her name was Blanche. Yeah. Yeah, she yeah, it was Blanche. Yeah, she was a very nice lady. I uh Oh, that crazy Blanche. I saw a lot of fuck. I saw too many old lady beaver there. Like way, yeah. way, way, way more than I should have saw. Yeah. Oh, I see it every day, not by choice. It's a, more so not, out of not, obligation. Not by choice. <laughs> uh, have you? Um, is is uh, is is Newman still there? The fucking uh, the, the he's the still on the chart. I'm not in his part because his part is long term care. I'm the uh, uh, on the side be for like rehab and stuff now but there's still plenty of people there that have fucking dementia that really should be on the other side but they're not i, I do find it hilarious. trying to take their money <laughs> i do find it hilarious that you said he's a fucking mailman and a jewish he a used Jew, to work a for the post office I, I he, love has, that. he had a jewish work... uh, pin on his hat he has this fucking it looks like a fucking confederate colonel hat a from conf- the civil war wait a confederate it's... yarmulke yeah, I guess, but it has the Star of David on it, and it has a gay pride flag. I was like, "Oh, you're literally oh, Newman." Oh, he's gay too. I have no idea. Wait, was Newman gay? He hasn't. I don't think so. He has. He has an inverted cock, and an inverted uh, cock. He has an inverted cock, and he's too fat to fit into clothes. Oh man, so like they, that all day. I like how you're just violating HIPAA right now. <laughs> I didn't say his name. <laughs> yeah, I didn't, I didn't say, say his name. Yeah, no, I have that. I have they that. Even the facility I work at. I, I mean, I work in medical sales, so I mean, I, I, you know, I have to comply with HIPAA violation too. But as long as I say the name, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Yeah. Yeah, we're fine. They have all, no idea. All, all of a sudden, like you get a call from the, you get a call from your office tomorrow. You're just like, Mike, we have to see you tonight, tomorrow. Oh boy, is this about my employee of the month? Is this? <laughs> <laughs> no, Mike. no, you violated HIPAA. We're actually going to fire you. You're like, oh no. Great, you're gonna fire me. Oh, oh no, man. I guess I have to find another shitty job. Oh, no. <laughs> I, did I did I ever ask what, what what made you decide to become a fucking uh, CNA? Something to do, and it counts towards clinical hours for nursing degrees. So oh. there's that. That's a big reason why I'm doing this. But uh... you should become a doctor and and uh, give me some prostate exams. Oh yes, I'll become a a proctologist. You should. It's like, uh, what's the difference between Doctor Fauci and a proctologist? Well, one one's a doctor of the asshole, the other's an asshole who thinks he's a doctor. Oh, 
Uh, <laughs> that's fucking stupid. <laughs> Dude, I'm uh-huh. just I am just looking at my Mo's right now. And I am just fucking so no, excited what? to, uh, dude. My my my, my asshole's watering. My mouth is watering. Now your asshole will be watering in about an hour. Why is your why? You got a fucking colonic or something? Uh, diarrhea. That's what you, I was referring to. You got diarrhea? No. Oh, oh I'm gonna have diarrhea. Yeah. yeah I it's, might. It's... No, I had di- I had really bad diarrhea the the other the other day. I um I didn't eat a fucking thing. And I had coffee, like really strong Colombian coffee, and I was just yep. shitting my brains out. All and coffee does for me is just make me shit. It doesn't give me fucking energy like it's supposed to. It just makes <laughs> me shit. Yeah, at least at least you lose water weight, which is fine. Yeah, yeah. Miranda's on the. Why is she watching TV? Do you realize I'm still doing a podcast, Louie? Pro- yeah, I got pretty strong microphones. It, it, I think we'll be okay. It's copyright. I couldn't even hear the TV being on. Oh, you can't hear the TV? Okay, you're good. You're good. Yeah, that's crazy microphones. No, you you can keep you can keep it playing, Bib. She says we're about to end this thing in a couple minutes anyway, too, because of the fucking timer that Zoom Zoom is like, oh, you gotta fucking pay to have extra time. And I'm like, why don't you just fucking change the spelling of Zoom to Z E W M, please? Zoom. Zoom. No, you gotta get Zoom Premium. You gotta get Z- Zootism. It's like the it's like the cable companies on South Park. Wait, what, a... what, babe? Oh, you're st- oh you haven't eaten yet. No, I'm oh, well, Miranda doesn't want to eat alone, so I think that's an indicator that I'm going to end yeah. the podcast now, Michael. Yeah, you can't do that. Yeah. Anyway, dude, I I fucking I love you, man, and I am super too, excited. Bro. I'm super excited for the save the date. I'm excited oh, for yeah. another for another invitation you'll get, you'll get another thing like that in a few months i'm excited i mean I'm, I'm just gonna I'm just, just 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 fucking fyi i'm our i'm rsvping already so i'm, I'm yeah I'm I, I, I figured lake wales though that's that's fucking Orlando? it's like two and a half hours from us it's the same time as ocala is but just different directions it's in but, is in your is in orlando yeah it's right outside of winter haven ah gotcha fuck yeah man i'm excited yeah, we'll bro. Get, we'll get a hotel. We'll get stupid and watch you get yeah. married, and then I'll 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 say a couple words at your wedding. How does that sound? Oh boy, that sounds fantastic. Kate, Kate would be like, "Nope, he's not saying a word." I'm like, "What? <laughs> I'm allowed he's to out, say I'm words?" Out in the living room where she's at right now, and she's just shaking her head no. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like they kind of. Can a juice say a word? Huh? Huh? 